So what you will need is a loom, a crochet hook, and some uh, S clip or C clip. So the first step that you're going to do is you're going to take your first color. Mine's black. The best colors to take are white or black because they stand out against the colors that I'm going to use. You are going to go from this piece to this piece. Then you're going to take your next rubber band and go from here to here. You're going to go all the way up the loom I'll do this with you a few more times and then fast forward. Okay, now I'm going to fast forward. Okay, now the next step is to take your next rubber band. You do not start from here and you go, but you go to the bottom. You go from here to here and do the same thing all the way up. I'm going to fast forward now. And now the last rubber band. Next, we are going to take our first color for the starburst. Mine's red. First, you're going to take your first color. You're going, going to go from here to here. Then you're going to take your next rubber band and go here to here. You're going to go clockwise. And then place your last rubber band. Then you're going to take your next color, mine's orange. I'm going to go from here to here. Then here to here. Then here to here. I'm going to go clockwise with the last three that I have. Okay, now I'm going to take my next color. I am going to go clockwise. From here to here, from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, here to here, and from here to here. I'll fast forward. Okay, now I'm done with placing the bands. All the last part of placing the bands is you have to do the cap bands. Before you place the cap bands, you need to take your hook and push down every piece of the rubber bands. So you'll have room to loom and put new rubber bands on. You can also do this with your fingers. Now I'm going to turn my loom around. I'm going to take this first rubber band. I'm going to put it on my finger, twist it, and come back around. Then I'm going to place it on the first peg. It should look like this. 
Then I'm going to take my next cap band. I'm going to put it on the middle of the purple flower. Then I'm going to take my next rubber band. I'm going to skip this one and go to the middle of the blue flower. I'm going to do this all the way down, skipping one and doing the middles of the flowers. I'm going to fast forward from here. Okay, so far the look should look like this. After you're done doing that, you're going to take your hook. First, you are going to go in, pull back the cap band, and grab the purple rubber band. You are going to pull it out and loop it forward onto the middle of the purple flower. Then you're going to go into the, the purple flower and grab the first band. It should be the first band. If not, then you put the rubber bands on wrong. Then you're going to go in again and grab the next rubber band. It should be the top rubber band. Then you're going to grab the next and pull it up forward. You're going to be placing these rubber bands on the same hook that they came, peg that they came from. Go from here to here. It should look like a sun with a line across it. Then you're going to take your hook and go in. If you see this blue rubber band, pull it up and place it on the middle of the blue flower. It should look like this. Then you're going to go in and take the first rubber band. It should be the first. Again, if it's not, then you put on the rubber bands wrong. I'm going to take the first rubber band and put it up to here. Take the next rubber band and put it up to here. If you drop it, you can pull it out and just like I did, I dropped it. So you can just pull, take, put your hook through, put it on your hook and pull it back through. And then you're gonna put it on. It will look the same and it will do the same as a normal thing will work. Again, go in, grab, and come back out. I will do the yellow one with you, and then I'm going to fast forward for two. Okay, wait. If you bring up two, just let the other one fall down. It's probably um, the next one that you're going to grab. So, just let it go. Okay, now I'm going to fast forward from here. Okay, your finished look of looming should look like this. Next, we are going to be looping the permitter bands. First, you are going to take your hook and you are going to put it in through the cap bands. You are going to grab the first one. Then you are going to pull it to here. I lost mine on my hook, so I just used my fingers after I got it up. Then you are going to take your hook again, go into the cap band, and grab the last black rubber band. Take it to here. Push them down, because when you loomed the flowers, they get, they get pushed up. Then you are going to go in this one, pull back all the rubber bands, and 
have, you have to grab the bottom one or this won't work. And then you pull it forward. You go back in and grab the next rubber band and pull it forward. Do the same thing all the way up. I'm going to fast forward from here. Okay, now you're going to go back down to the bottom and go in and grab the bottom one. You have to grab the bottom one or this won't work. Grab the bottom one and loop it up. I'll fast forward from here. Okay. Now this is what your finished look of looming should look like. Next, you're going to take your next rubber band. I'm going to choose my black. Way in the back here. I made it into a bracelet, but I tore them apart. I'm running low on black, so. First, I'm going to stick my hook through the hole and out. You have to have almost all the rubber bands in there. Then you are going to put it on your hook and pull it through. And then you're going to pull it back around and through the thing. You're going to push it more onto your hook and this is where you're going to take your bracelet off. Take it off gently or the rubber bands might snap. You could rip it off like this, but try to be a little gentler. Okay, here's what the finished look of your starburst should look like. Now I'm just going to do what I do for all of them. So I can put on my extension, I'm going to pull it through so it can set right here. There's the finished look. Next I'm going to take my black rubber bands. I'm going to be doing the extension as you see on this bracelet. I'm going to take my first rubber band. I forgot, turn, I need to turn my loom around. The red arrow should be facing away from you. You're going to put your first rubber band on. You're going to go up like this. My wrist is five rubber bands long, so I'm going to only use five rubber bands. Okay, now I'm going to take my bracelet. I'm going to take the cap band that's right here. If you see these loops hanging, all you have to do is pull it or get it onto this bracelet and it will tighten up. You're going to put it on here and then put it onto the next bag. This is what it should look like. Next, you're going to take your hook. You can turn your loom around or leave it just as you wish. You're going to take your first rubber band, which is right here, and loop around and up. You're going to take it. This is the easiest part of the bracelet because all you have to do is go in and take it out and put it through. This is just making the chain. If you have ever made the chain, it's just connecting a bracelet to it. Next, I'm going to turn my loom back around if you turned it away. You're going to take this rubber band, still leaving it on this peg, and put it to this peg where the red arrow is. Next, you're going to take your clip and I'm going to put it on these two rubber bands. I'm going to snap it on. And since I did this, I'm just going to undo it, holding it through there. And then I'm going to, you have to push it on really well since you don't have it buckled like I did. Then you're going to pull it off. Watch, the clip might snap up and hit you in the hand. 
Now I'm going to just cap it off. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Then I'm going to connect this to here. And this is what the finished look should look like. I have two rubber bands. One that I made earlier, and the one that I just made now. Here are the looks. I'm going to put one on. The one that I made is the one that I'm putting on right now. It's a little bigger. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, Please subscribe, um, come back for more videos, and bye. See you next time.